raw hair or virgin hair? What should I be selling with my hair business? That potentially could be the million dollar question. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now to better understand which product you should be selling or both, let's go over really quick some of the characteristics so you understand what both product really is because you have to understand what you're selling. In theory, raw hair, and this is from Southeast India. We sell a ton of it over at Private Label. Okay, this is technically some of the best hair you can get in the world, okay? And then this is virgin hair, where it's been slightly processed to align cuticles or strip the cuticles off the hair. You know, which one is better? You're gonna have to compare apples to apples, but these are not comparing apples to apples because this is generally a much lower cost product than raw hair. Now, we're gonna get into a little bit whether or not you should be selling either one for your hair brand in just a moment. So some quick characteristics about virgin hair. You know, this hair is still really good. It's gonna to color to a honey blonde 27 under most circumstances. What you, you know, you can get a little less quality if it's been pre-dyed. This has not been pre-dyed, so you still can have really good results with the coloring. Um, overall, the fullness of the bundle is gonna make a difference because you can lower the cost of this virgin hair bundle by having more short strands within the bundle, which means you have a lower ratio of long strands. So that's gonna cut the cost. A lot of times, a lot of hair manufacturers and sellers they will skim a couple grams off the bundle. No, God, please, no, no! So once you weigh the bundle, it's not gonna be a standard 100 grams, it could be 90 grams. So you have to be really careful about the hair that you're selling and making sure that you're selling a standard bundle or understand that this could be a lower cost bundle from somebody, even though it seems like it's about the same hair, but the actual weight. And believe it or not, just even five to six grams can make a huge difference in the cost. That's five to six percent. That can be a dollar, a couple dollars off per bundle of savings. So you have to really want to, you know, decide do you want to stick to a hundred gram bundle or something that's a little lower in weight? I would say generally you want to stick to a hundred gram bundle and really explain that to your customer base. Now with the raw hair, you can do about anything to this. This has all the cuticles, they're all aligned. So this is Remy hair. You know, they're both virgin hair and, and raw hair is considered Remy hair because all the cuticles are aligned. Otherwise you're gonna have a tangled mess. But some of the advantages of this is this hair can be dyed to a 613 blonde or 60 platinum. You can curl it and style it amazing. I mean, you can do that with the virgin hair here but you're always gonna have a little bit better results with the raw hair. Now, this type of hair, because it is 100% unprocessed hair, you know, you might have some different results if it's really uh, muggy outside and humid, right? It might frizz up a little bit more. So some people might not think it's good hair because it's less of a chance that it's gonna do it with virgin hair. So you really have to find out what's best for your customer. And that's where it becomes important to know who your customer is. Not all customers are looking for the same products. So if you are marketing and have a high-end customer base, you're probably gonna be better off marketing raw hair. Now, if you're in an area where the you know, cost per bundle, the price point is a lot lower, you might be better off with virgin hair. A lot of people ask us, what should I carry? Should I have raw hair or should I have virgin hair? or should I have both? And that's actually a great question. And what it really comes down to is who is your customer and then what can you afford? Now, if you use a system like dropshipping, which we've created dropship bundles and dropship beauty, I'll have a links to the description if you're looking for a hair dropshipping service, you know, you can easily carry anything because you don't have to hold inventory with dropshipping. That's one of the great benefits of dropshipping hair extensions. But if you wanted to just buy hair wholesale and inventory it yourself, you're really gonna have to figure out, do you want raw hair, virgin hair, or both? But it can start getting really expensive, especially the both option. I mean, raw hair by itself is expensive is enough, but having both can get really expensive. So what you really wanna do is figure out the price point that your customers buy hair extensions at. You can do surveys, you can do polls online. You know, through social media, it makes it actually really easy to figure out what exactly your anticipated customer base 
is going to purchase. Uh, you could always do a hybrid model if you're selling where you can have inventory of hair and drop shipping as well. That's probably some of our best and most successful clients do both of those. And the reason being is you might stock virgin hair because locally you're selling this and it's easy for you to be able to sell it on hand same day because you have it. And you still have the availability on your website with drop shipping, a bunch of the raw hair options. So that's something you definitely need to consider. So if you ask me, which one should you be selling? I would say definitely try to sell both, you know, figure out what's the best way to do so. Depending on your budget, drop shipping could be an easier way to do it. But having access to a bunch of types of hair can be a huge advantage because honestly, as much as everyone knows that raw hair, well, not everyone knows, but as, as honest as it is, that raw hair is generally a better hair product. Not everybody can afford raw hair. So it's a good idea to offer some different options. So like at Private Label, we have this Brazilian bundle. And you know this is kind of our standard. We sell an absolute ton of this. We actually sell more of this than we do of the raw hair because of the price point. But we even have a lower grade of this that's even cheaper than this bundle. And still, people, some people buy that as well. You gotta also think about the hair application. If you're doing a quick weave and you're getting raw Indian hair and chopping it up, you better be a celebrity or somebody with a whole lot of money because you're just chopping up hair and it's gonna be a short-term hairstyle. Whereas a quick weave with a cheaper hair product is probably gonna make more sense because you're cutting up the wefts anyway. And if for some reason you do a quick weave and the hair shedding a lot and you're wondering why and you didn't re-glue the wefts and everything else, please do not tell me this hair sheds a lot. It's just known. Anyway, so getting back to the what you should sell, you know, really you want to focus on it's not what you want to sell, it's what your customer buys and the needs of your customer. So always be client focused in your hair business, figure out what your clients want and then provide them with the best products, the best service at the best cost. If you have any questions about raw hair, or virgin hair, which one you should sell, where you should buy it, make sure you check out the links below. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll be back in touch to answer your question in detail, and I might even make another video about it.